Live uh, telling and bringing us that story. Uh, Nina, what's the latest with the families that are there? David, getting people out of the danger of their flooded homes to the safety of the shelter Bergen County set up, which is just across Route 46 from the Teterboro Airport at the Bergen County Technical School, is still a door-to-door -door rescue operation. We were lucky enough to get on an amphibious vehicle owned by some citizens because every federal, every state, every city, every local resource is being used here to rescue people. This amphibious vehicle owned by these uh, citizens that own an MRI center in Clifton was rescuing, helping rescue people door to door including an 11 month old baby that got on pacifier intact this uh, baby girl named Mariana who was rec rescued out of her home along with her parents her grandmother and a family friend uh, just one of the people brought up by a, uh, a rescue boat operated by the New Jersey uh, State Police the task force one brought to this vehicle and loaded on we were only on this vehicle for about uh, maybe 20 minutes and within that 20 minutes the whole thing was full because these citizens, along with the state police, along with the fire department, along with the DPW from Monaki, Little Ferry, and the county, and the National Guard, are still going door to door, loading up different types of vehicles and getting people out of their houses. Some of the people are flagging them down from their porches, saying, please help us, we need to go. Uh, and some people are waving them off, uh, saying they don't need to go and they don't want to go, which the people we were with were trying to say, listen, the tide's coming in, don't put yourself and don't put uh, the rescue operators in another dangerous situation tonight when the night comes and that water starts to rise again. But the stories we're hearing from people are really incredible. They're talking about the water coming up the first floor, the second floor, ending up with their families on the third floor of their homes. Water underneath, water up to the windows, and having no cell service, having to hang out their doors, flag down some of their neighbors, and say, tell someone to come and get us. And incredibly, the, 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 the organization here and the rescue effort that's going on and continues to go on has been so coordinated that they are going door to door and trying to get to everybody that they can and utilize every resource that they can. Who did you rescue today? What was happening when you came Over out? Over about 150 people. Newborn baby, Babies, three weeks old. dogs, elderly cats, people. 93-year-old lady. are lady in bad shape more. and they just needed help and this is what we needed to do. Lisa, you just were driving around and people, what were they doing? Flag flagging they us were down. Flagging us down, screaming out the windows, um, help, help, help. And I was telling my husband, go back that way. We were loaded. I'm like, we have to fit them on. We have to. We're they need help. And that was uh, John and Lisa Mercadante. They're the couple that owns a, an MRI imaging center in Clifton. They heard that there was help needed here. They brought that amphibious vehicle that they just have as a hobby that they use for hay rides and, uh, and different kind of recreational activity down here. They loaded that thing up within 20 minutes, filled with people, people coming up in the boats. We're talking people with no shoes on, David and Liz. Uh, elderly people scared to death. The look in their eyes of gratitude and fear. They're on a boat. They had to be lifted onto this vehicle. They have, they're, they have clutching in their hands a small bag of the things that they could grab. And, and amazing the way the news works. Somebody emailed, uh, a, a son emailed the New Jersey Bureau. Uh, the New Jersey Bureau emailed New York, and New York emailed me that they were worried about their parents that were on Park Street in Menaki. As soon as we got that email, we realized we just interviewed Millie and Peter Peterson um, on the street where Sarah was after we got off that rescue operation vehicle that we were allowed to ride along with. And they are safe if their son is watching this because he said he couldn't reach them. They only had a small bag of things. Uh, Millie Peterson was crying. She said, I'm just so sad. All the pictures, all the kids' pictures, the wedding pictures, the baby pictures, everything. Everything is lost. We lost our entire home. But you know what she said? I am grateful to the eyewitness news team, she said, for, for uh, informing us, for staying with us, for telling us what was happening. They were uh, headed from the staging area over where the buses are dropping people off on dry land, coming over here to the shelter. And their son was one of the people who reached out to the station to say, please help my parents. They can't reach anybody. They have no cell service. And uh, they thankfully are safe. Liz and David, that is the very latest from where we are in Teterboro at the shelter at the Bergen County Technical School where they are still seeing about 500 people come in and out of here. I have uh, someone with the fire department that wanted to talk to us. I'm actually in back here uh, with Justin Devrianic. Uh, I live in a neighborhood that flooded. The, the whole thing was the whole neighborhood flooded between 30 and 40 minutes after the event happened. They're calling it a levee breach or a overrun the governor called it. I don't know which way he was going with that. 
but uh, the whole neighborhood between Little Ferry and Munaki, 30 to 40 minutes. Most of the guys you see here from Munaki Fire Department and Little Ferry Fire Department, most of them uh, have severe damage to their houses, so they're still working through everything. Uh, I myself, I wish I could do more. I walked out of the water. It was chest high last night after it came up. Uh, a lot of people in my neighborhood got out early, but there's still a lot of people there, and they're Fire evacuating still. Firefighter, I'm surprised about the amounts of people that continue to come off of these vehicles. We're talking bus loads from 8 o'clock in the morning till now still coming off, clutching their belongings. How much longer can you uh, keep up this rescue operation? What, can, what resources do you need for help? I'm not involved in the actual rescue operation. Uh, the state police task force one's handling that with a West Virginia team that's coming up now. Just knowing the neighborhood living here a long time, there's probably between the two towns, between two and 3,000 people affected in the flooded areas. And originally, it happened so fast, nobody had their own time to get out. So they needed to rely on the resources of the fire departments and the responders to get them out. And that's just coming from knowledge that I've listened to on the radio while I was at a safe haven at one of my friends' house who took me in for a couple days. All right, thank you so, so much, firefighter. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're Good hearing. Luck. Thank you very much. You, you know, the people we talk to here at the shelter haven't, uh, obviously, they haven't slept. They haven't eaten in a long time. They're just going, dropping people out, disgorging uh, people, you know, that they can help. They're going into triage. They're getting seen by uh, medical professionals. They're getting something warm to eat, a blanket, uh, someplace to collect their thoughts. And a lot of them, when you go in there, they're not allowing the cameras in for the privacy of, of those of those folks in there. But a lot of them are just letting it all out and crying uh, to us, saying they have no idea, Liz and David, what they're going to go back to when they leave the shelter. Oh, certainly. That is the big unknown right now. But at least at this point, they are safe. They will be dry, hopefully, in, uh, hopefully in a little while. And, and to Millie and uh, Peter Peterson's son, we hope that uh, he will be reunited with them shortly. All right, Nina Pineda reporting for us uh, in Teterboro. Thanks, Nina.